Hi, my name is Jesse and I'm from It's Deza and this is my Jeep Deza. Today, I'm gonna be doing a walk around. I'm getting a lot of questions about how I did stuff and how I sleep in it, how I live in it, how I pack it. What have I done for lifts, bar work, uh, drivetrain, lockers. So today we're gonna be going over all of that. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna start with all the bar work on the Jeep first. The front bumper is an Amazon bumper. I don't know what brand it is. It was cheap. I bought it a long time ago, put it on. Then I put an 8,500 pound super winch on it. It's so far been doing me great. Uh, these lights are from Tractor Supply. They're, they're travelers, they're super bright. They came with a full wiring harness, switch, everything you needed to go, plug it, plug it in and go. Um, I always keep my snatch rope on the front because we use them that much. When you're like stuck or your buddy's stuck and they're in the water, it's so nice to be able to just hop right out, grab this thing, slap them right on, yank them right out, throw it right back on there. You don't have to worry about getting anything inside of your Jeep or your uh, recovery bag dirty. And it's always just sitting here. It's permanently on there, the D-ring. So onto the back. The rear bumper is an EAG bumper off Amazon. Uh, I got it with the swing out and I got it with this stupid little push button. I do not recommend this style latch. I don't like it at all. It's hard to open, it's hard to close. Dirt gets inside of there, so I'm constantly cleaning it out and lubing it up with something. Stay away from that. Other than that though, I love the bumper. It's strong for what I use it for. Uh, it was like 450 bucks totally good now I'm gonna get on to showing you what I did to the rear swing out to carry all of this weight as you can see this thing is going anywhere uh, we have it braced at the frame we have a strap that we have bolted onto the frame that's bolted onto the bumper to hold tension up on it and then I also have this ratchet strap here that is held up to the roof rack so everything is tied in together and when I'm trailing, I don't have to worry about this thing ever breaking off or slamming against the back of the Jeep because I'm, I'm carrying 10 gallons of water back here. I have five gallons of fuel, a uh, big cooler full of stuff, spare tire, uh, the recovery tracks, a whole bag full of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I have recovery gear in here. I have cooking gear in here. I have plates, silverware, you name it, and it's probably in this bag. So I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you what we got going on here. All right, to open it, simple. This strap, I usually have it hanging right here. And there you go. So these jerry can holders I bought, they came in a set, $109 off Amazon, an amazing price for what they are. They are super strong. They're for a JK or a JKU, one or the other, but I basically just modified them by cutting a little notch out and they fit. I My tail lights are completely exposed, not blocking anything, and it, it works great. Now this basket, I actually made. Um, I took a bunch of spare tubing in my, at my garage and I welded it to a big heavy plate and I bolted it to here and then I welded a basket on top of it. Best thing I've done because this thing is so useful. I, I, I use this basket more than basically anything. It always has the cooler, my seat, my gas. It's good. <music> So when you're out on these long trips, you need a way to get clean. You need some way to shower, wash dishes. Uh, running water's great. So was what I did is I outfitted this pump sprayer onto the back of the Jeep. It's semi-permanent, which means it's on there, but if I have to get it off, I can use a screwdriver and remove it right off the back. Uh, I have the hoses wrapped up and around there because I have a little bit extra hose because it's, it's just nice. Uh, and how it works is it's filled with water all the time. You give it a couple pumps and then you have warm running water. It's warm right now because we're out in Florida and it's been sitting out in the sun all day. And this thing is great. This thing's been a lifesaver. I 
I also have an awning. It's an awning, that's about all I can say about it. <laughs> I also have a roof rack. Uh, it's a Garmin rack. I had to make all the uprights because I'm, well, I can't, I couldn't afford it. So I had to just make it myself. Also, I wanted the windshield to be able to fold down and uh, with their factory arms, they're great. They're super strong, but you can't fold down the windshield. For me, that's, I, I love to fold down the windshield. So I built all these. It's tied in a couple spots here and there. It's tied into the front. It's super strong. It ain't going anywhere. I've bounced over Moab. And threw Imogene Pass with it. I've, I've never had a problem with it. It's, you can feel the weight up there a little bit but it's not as bad as you would think. It, this Jeep isn't some top heavy, rear heavy monstrosity to drive on the highway, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So the fenders I'm running are Metal Cloak. I love these fenders. They are so freaking strong. They're made right in California. I talked to the guys through email because I was curious to see where, if they actually welded this stuff in-house, and they do. I love these things. I highly recommend it. The, the fitment was absolutely perfect. I had no problem bolting this thing right on. I have the four inch flare. Uh, it covers the wheels perfectly, I think. And it has a really nice, mean, aggressive look. Um, the powder coating, if you buy these, definitely have them powder coated because this is like the best powder coating I have ever seen in my entire life. I drive through bushes with this stuff and smack them off trees all the time. And there is not, there's not a single mark on these things. It's fantastic, highly recommended. <laughs> So for suspension, I'm running a two and a half inch Rubicon Express lift kit. Uh, the only thing that I changed out of their kit was the uh, rear shocks. I did swap them out to a JKU rear shock for the rear just because I have so much weight in the back and it helps with the rebound a ton. I have a one inch body lift and that is, that's it. And this thing goes anywhere I have ever needed it to go. All right, my diff is an ARB cover, front and rear. I also have a locker in there. It is a lock right. In the rear, I have chromoly axle shafts. No locker in the rear though. I also swapped some 488s in there. I also got these boomerang shackles. I actually made these with a torch and a grinder and a drill. Uh, they're shaped like this. So when you articulate and these actually move, the notch right here will actually help clear the frame when it, when it moves. The tires I run are a Panagodia MT. These are a 32 10 5 on a 16 inch rim. Uh, the rim is eight inches wide. So I usually sleep in a hammock when I'm by myself, but since my girlfriend's coming on these trips now, we have a rooftop tent. It's a Smitty built rooftop tent. It's great. We've slept in it probably over a hundred times already. Uh, it, it, it's, it's awesome. So let's take a look inside. So in here, first and foremost, we have our food, water, clothes and towels, all my clothes, a chair, the annex for the tent, our toolbox, fire extinguisher. Always have a fire extinguisher with you on these trips because you never know when you're gonna need it. Back here is where I keep all my camera gear. I got my drone, my gimbal, extra stands, uh, a bunch of other camera equipment, uh, SD cards, there's flash drives in there, there's lights in there. Um, this is my radio when we're on the on the road. It's just a, a little boom box it goes behind the seats. So I'll actually unpack this and I'll show you everything I have in here in a separate video. So if you're interested on more detail on what's actually inside of here and how it's packed, I will put a link eventually whenever that video is done in the bottom of this video and you can go click on that and check that out. All right, so inside here, I keep all my machetes up here because I want them to be easy to get to. I have a thermometer, clock, and a compass. My GPS is a Garmin. This holds my phone. 
This is where all my charging stuff is to charge all the equipment, our phones, the GPS, the um, CB radio, which I'm using a uh, Bearcat 980. Good CB, I like it. And that's basically pretty, pretty basic. The seat cover, I do have one of those crazy compartment seat covers where I have, um, there's so much stuff back here. This is a first aid kit. It's the very first thing at the very top. Super easy to get to. If I need it in a rush, I can unclip it and run. Or I could probably just rip this off and run. Uh, knives, flashlights, a backup flashlight, a headlamp, uh, charging things, all the cables. I have all the batteries down in here. Uh, and then right here, the most accessible spot is the good old winch cable because we use that quite a bit. This is all a fire starting kit. I have everything you'd need, matches, lighter fluid, um, these little fire sticks just in case, you never know. And that's basically about it. Like I said, we can get into more of this in another video. So if you want to know about that, just let me know. All right, so now for under the hood. So for under the hood, I just swapped in the inline six uh, 40 from the 2.5 and let me tell you it made a world of difference amazing huge difference uh other small things that we upgraded in here was i have a 136 amp alternator to help charge everything uh three core aluminum rad from champion and i mean basically that's just about it all right so that concludes this little overview walk around thing if you guys have any more questions feel free to ask me uh follow me on social media Jesse Calusi, It's Deza. If you type in those three words, you'll either get to the It's Deza page or my personal page. Message me. I'll answer you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. It doesn't really help us out at all, but uh, so you don't have to do that. But we'll catch you guys next time.